Hi all, I'm back with this tutorial for uh, my heaven shawl. Um, this um, pretty shawl is actually made um, and designed by Patricia in 2011 and we are currently using it for uh, our cow in um, Indonesian meters and currently for the last two weeks we've already done the border. I make a short version of it. Um, I made one version of um, chart A and then chart B, chart A, chart B, chart A. So hopefully it will look uh, triangular enough. So currently uh, I'm binding off the stitches uh, of the border. So um, I'm using a stretchy bind off the one that I usually use for all of my shawl. And uh, you have to be careful enough to make sure that this stretchy part is as stretchy as uh, the cast on part which is on the other side of the border this way uh, I'm doing it just like uh, my other tutorial you can check it if you want to have a more clearer way to do it uh, basically you just knit from the stitch put it back into the left needle of the last two stitches and then you just knit them together now um, we have this um, stitch I'm um, sorry on the right side and I'm going to pick up from this stitch because uh, this stitch is belongs to the first yarn over um, starting so if you want me to show it again let me do it like this okay remember that I put it back onto the left so basically this is the yarn over and I already need a stitch back now I'm putting back into the left needle, put two stitches back, now I'm knitting them together and they are all bind off. Now I want to pick up the stitches because you're supposed to take on the t stitches from uh, all of the um, part over here, see the loopy part, mm, I hope you can see it. So now, um, how about this one? We do not, uh, after we bind off, we do not cut the yarn. We just continue by picking up the stitches. So what I do here to hide this stitch, actually just put it back into the left needle and start to pick up the stitch like this. And then another one from the next loop so each yarn we will just um, um, pick up one stitch except the one stitch on the middle uh, over here probably around this part so you just do it like this pick up so because of the loopy edging it's quite easy to pick up and another one and another one and another one so you go on and continue until you reach the middle if according to the pattern then you will have to pick up about um, two uh, knit to front and back um, if you want to adjust as if you are not going to do all of the 22 um, repeats of the um, right side and the left side of the B part, a uh, B chart, sorry, you can actually adjust it by um, manipulating the mid front and back part um, of the uh, of the loops here. So you can actually adjust the stitch that you have so that you can um, calculate how much you need for the repeat. Let me check. So your repeat will have to fulfill the edge stitches plus uh, this is the, I believe this was a 10, uh, 10 stitches plus the 3 here. So you calculate how much stitches that you have um, here. And then you, uh, if possible, increase the mid front and back and do it um, balancedly, like 
uh, don't put every with front and back at the middle of the of the um, of the shawl so you try to for example you put it in front and back here 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 and here so you have uh, you can add the number of the stitches if it's not enough for the repeat so um, and according to um, my calculation you should do um, I think it should be okay yeah I think it should be okay no matter whether you do the B part uh, B chart uh, in odd number or uh, even a number um, every every um, edge you have a uh, two um, yarn over uh, two stitch to pick up plus if you are in an A chart you will have here one two three four four one two and then chart a four and then chart b is one two three four five six one two three four five six and then another two and then you pick up from there so oops sorry so knit from the front also from the back so it will look like this so one stitch has two so if you want to increase more numbers you can hide it somewhere in the middle and for example if you have to add five uh, knit in front um, uh, five more stitches then you can do one in the middle and one and one and then another one and then another one something like that so I hope you understand my explanation in modifying the numbers of the repeat that you have to do and continue on to the next hole continue on continue on and we have a few more stitches left and we are done with it yay now I already have this so this will actually be an accent which is I always love this part which is a really good um, detail on your um, show then after that we continue um, with the knitting so basically as according to the um, to the pattern you need just one stitch and then you need everything until the middle and you will decrease in the middle so basically for this one uh, we always do the decrease in the middle which in the pattern is shown as this one this is the decrease so on every um, on every row you are going to lose two stitches um, sorry every even row you will lose two stitches you um, stay with the numbers lose two stay with the numbers lose two and so on so I hope my tutorial um, is quite simple to understand so it's just about the picking up and uh, well the binding of, of the border and then the pick up um, hope to see your um, my heaven shawl done in two weeks time so uh, see you again on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.